Hello and welcome to video number 17 of our PHP web developing tutorials. In this video we're going to cover how to create a simple login form and actually log in as a user. We're also going to touch on sessions a little bit. Uh, we'll be using a session to keep the state up to date and say that we have a logged in user. I'll explain that a little bit more in a little bit. Um, first of all let's take out the code that we made in the last video for this for inserting data and we'll save that header. We're also going to remove the field here of this form. Actually, we're going to just change a few things about this. We're going to call this a username and this is going to be a password. And down here, we're just going to remove this. So the, we're going to create a login and we're going to change the name of this to username and or the ID and the the name we're going to switch those to username and we're going to create we're going to call this a password and one more thing we're going to change is we're going to change this type to password so our form should be built if we go back and look at that we refresh it and we now have a username password and oh, let's change the button to log in we'll refresh that again Okay, so we're going to make some changes to the database. Let's go to this table, refresh it, and what I want to do is I'm going to go look at the structure of this database, and we're going to add a column. Actually, we're going to change the name of the name column to username, and leave it just like it is there, and we're going to change the age column. We're just going to switch it to password, and at the moment we're going to use plain text passwords, so we're going to do variable character of 32 length I'll just say we're going to use plain text cat passwords at the moment uh, so the, the passwords will be stored as plain text uh, which is something you wouldn't really want to do in a actual site you want to create a hash on those passwords and actually encrypt it a little bit and I'll show you how to do that later but for right now we're just going to use a plain text password let me just change this username field let's do 12 characters long is that what we're going to do on it and the password can be 32 that's fine so now our username fields have changed and I'm going to just delete these two, remove these from the database, the extra ones we created, and for our username for these two, let's, do an edit here. let's just edit it, Randy, Randy Pass, go, and we'll edit Brandy's again here too as well, let's Brandy, and Brandy Pass, okay, so we have our database set up with a username and password. Usually you'd have a, the user table would have a lot more information in it and the password would be encrypted, but for this demonstration, we're just gonna use those two fields. And we have a username and password that we're setting up here and we have a logon. So one thing I wanna to add to this is up here, let's do this in, in our uh, header. If it's set, the post username, so if we have a username being sent to us, then username equals, and before we do all this, let's, let's go ahead and start our session up here at the top. Let's session start like this. That way we can edit the session. And if we do have a session set, it'll, it'll start the session every time we load the page and, and be able to access it. So username equals the post variable username. And password equals post password. And since we're starting this session at the beginning of the header, we can come in here and say if we can create some inline PHP that's going to be pretty cool. Here. But if a session username. And I'll show you where we're actually creating that session variable in a second, but we'll say if this is set. Or actually, if this is not set, 
then and we're going to use some short syntax here if this if statement we put a colon out here we can use something called uh, short syntax where we can end if at the end of this so what this is an if if this is not set then we show the form we can also put it else in here else with a colon and if it is set then we can simply echo hello or echo you are logged in as and then we can echo the session um, and to make this work out better let's put our PHP there we'll say username and this should be it so now we can we can end that so if we have a session started or if if we have a session username logged in then it doesn't show the form it shows you're logged in as and then uh, so now let's let's check and see if our password is correct so if the username and password are or if the username is being posted then we set the username and password variables up like that and we do a query equals select I'm going to say password from user where, let's just make this capital, where username is equal to, and now we can, we can actually say username here, and say query equals uh, odb prepare our query which will take input from that post form and put it in place of that colon username there. So then we say results equal query execute. Um, and we'll have an array. And the only value we have in there is a username. So we'll just put username. And then we'll point that to the username. Okay. And if the results is not equal to false and we can say results actually query row count is greater than zero which means we have a result then if let's see if result zero password that's the first result if the result is zero password is equal to password then we do something we're going to set the session username equals and then we'll just put the username else we don't do anything so we're not even going to report an error. So now let's save that and let's go back to our page and refresh it. Okay, so our username is Randy and Randy Pass is our password. And it's not doing anything, so it's not logging us in. Probably, we're probably getting a false result. We probably need to just go ahead and loop through this. The results of zero should be correct. And we're selecting the password. Let's select asterisk and say. That's correct. So let's go back and refresh this. Randy and Randy pass. Am I typing the right password? Randy pass, yeah. The password, if the results is not equal to false and the query row count is greater than zero, results of password is equal to the password. Set of session variable username. Let's just put some debugging stuff in here. Echo. Results else echo password incorrect. So the password's incorrect, so we're looking at the wrong thing here. So results this is going, this is executing, but this part's executing instead of this part, so we're doing something wrong here. Let's loop through here. For each result as result, if result password equals password, then 
we set our session variable username equal to our username. Save that, refresh it. And we have an invalid argument for, for each here. Let's do results equals results. Good job. We should have a slip of our dump on this just to see what's causing that. It's giving me a boolean a true. I know what I did wrong. So what I did wrong is I'm trying to execute this and that's not made to do a select statement. We need to do a fetch all. So we did the execute here. This is something I messed up on. Uh, sorry about that. We do a results here. Results equal query fetch all. So now that's what I did wrong. Refresh that. So now we actually have the, the var dump here. So what we're going to do if the results uh, zero, the first results password is equal to the password that was given, then we set our session username equal to our username variable. Save that and refresh it. So now you're logged in as Randy. So let's let's go ahead and create a log out button as well. So um, if we want to log out, let's create a link that says to log out. PHP log out, and then we'll have a log out link here. But it doesn't do anything yet because we don't have that file. Let's create the file real quick logout.php and in this file we're going to do a session start at the start of the session before we can destroy it so then we have session destroy and now we're going to do a header location this is going to redirect to our index.php so now so we log out it redirects us to this index.php as it has destroyed our session. We log back in, Randy. Randy pass. We're logged in. We have a logout. That's how you create a login form. So we have a session. When we log in, there's a session started, and our session username is set, and that's how we're getting this value here. So now you've got a re you retain the state, so someone can log into your website, and they stay logged in until they log out. So that's how you do that. I think it's kind of interesting with the PDO. Hope you learned something from that. Um, next video, we'll probably be going into cookies. We'll talk a little bit more about cookies and sessions. Well, sessions, since we've been working with them anyway. And so this, is, this should be a pretty interesting video. You should have learned how to make a login form, which is kind of interesting. We're getting into more interesting things with it, and we're actually able to do things with it that we need to do to build a, w a website. So at any rate, join us for the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please subscribe.